Hello dear students of class 6. I'm here with you today at Amar Ghare Amar School. Welcome to today's English class. Hope you are doing great. Today we are going to discuss about lesson 32 from English for Today book. You can see the title of today's lesson on the screen. What should we do? After the discussion of today's class, we will be able to Number 1. Read and understand texts. Number 2. Read and understand written instructions. Number 3. Write questions and answers. And number 4. Write short paragraphs. So before starting the class, let's see what Onik and Aisha are talking about. Let's learn something new in this summer vacation, right? Why don't we learn swimming? That's a good idea, but we need an elder person with us then. Agreed. How about asking Kajol's elder brother to teach us? He's a great swimmer. That's great. It's going to be an exciting summer. If you notice carefully, you will see, by using the underlying sentences, Onik and Aisha are putting forward plans or ideas for one another to think about or to consider. In other words, you can say they are making suggestions in the form of questions here. Now listen carefully the conversation between Aisha and her mother. I'm so bored, mom. It's raining. I can't go out to play. What should I do? Oh dear. Why don't you play chess with your sister? That sounds great. Here you can see Aisha is asking for a suggestion by saying what should I do and her mother is suggesting her. In our everyday life, we make suggestions when we are deciding what to do, offering advice or helping a visitor. In our today's class, we are going to master how to make a suggestion. Now let's go straight to the textbook and read the dialogue. This is Baha, Azim, Joseph, Shujun. They are classmates. They are planning a vacation. We have a week's vacation next week. What should we do? Let's go somewhere. We haven't been before. Right. I saw an ad for an interesting place. Mm, well, here it is. Let me see. Ah, a two-day trip to Kuakata. That sounds interesting. Look at the picture of the sea beach and the sunrise. It looks fantastic. Well, I have always wanted to climb a mountain. Why don't we go to the Chimbuk Mountains in Bandaban? I have an idea. How about going to the Sundarbans? We can see some wild animals and can also take pictures of the forests and the sea. Well, well, come down everybody. We cannot go to all the places and do all the things at a time, right? Yeah, let's think about all the options and then decide. Now, practice session. What we need to do? We need to make a list of the places the friends wanted to go to. Think about it. Which places the friends wanted to go? Yes, Kuakata. Chimbuk Mountains in Bandaban, Shundabans. Next part, what we need to do here? We need to choose the right answer for the following questions. Let's see the question. Why did Baha want to go to Kuakata? Baha wanted to go to Kuakata because option 1. It had mountains. Option 2. It had a fantastic sea beach and uh, sunrise and option three it was near the house think about what will be the right answer 
Yes. The right answer will be, it had a fantastic sea beach and the sunrise. Exactly. Okay, see the next question. Why did Azim want to go to Timbuk Mountains? Options. Azim wanted to go to Timbuk Mountains because Option 1. He was afraid of height. Option 2. He wanted to climb mountain. And Option 3. The natural beauty that was amazing. So, think about it. Which can be the right answer? Exactly. The answer is, he wanted to climb mountains. Next question. Why did Shujun want to go to the Shundabans? Options. Shujun wanted to go to the Shundabans because Option 1. They could see wild animals there. Option 2. It was the largest mangrove forest. And option 3, it was a great adventure place. So, think about it. Yes, the answer is option 1. They could see wild animals there. Now, let's go to the practice 2. Yes, what we need to do? We need to read the dialogue again and find out how many suggestions are there and which sentences are suggestions. We have a week's vacation next week. What should we do? Let's go somewhere we haven't been before. Right? I saw an ad for an interesting place. Hmm. Well, here it is. Let me see. Ah, a two-day trip to Kuakata. That sounds interesting. Look at the picture of the sea beach and the sunrise. It looks fantastic. Well, I've always wanted to climb a mountain. Why don't we go to the Timbuk Mountains in Bandaban? I have an idea. How about going to the Shundabans? We can see some wild animals and can also take pictures of the forests and the sea. Well, well, calm down everybody. We cannot go to all the places and do all the things at a time, right? Yeah, let's think about all the options and then decide. So I think you have got the answers. How many suggestions? Yes, the answer is there are three suggestions and the sentences are number one, let's go somewhere we haven't been before. Option two, why don't we go to the Chimbuk Mountains in Bandaban? And option three, how about going to the Shundabans? If you notice, you will see there is only one sentence in the dialogue which is asking for suggestion. What should we do? You can take these sentences as base and find out the sentence structure for asking a suggestion or for making a suggestion. Let's see. Sentence structure for asking suggestion. Structure number one. We can start with what should, then subject, after that verb, infinitive form without two, then other part, and finally question mark. So the sentence can be, we can start with what should, then subject I, then verb it, then other part for breakfast, and then question mark. Now structure number two. We can start with let's and then verb infinitive form without two, then other parts. So let's make a sentence with it. We can start with let's, then verb revise and then other part of a lesson. So the sentence is let's revise our lesson and finally remember we use a full stop. Yes. So let's see more example like it. Let's go for a walk. Now extraction number three. 
we can start with why don't or why doesn't then subject then verb infinitive form without to then other part and then question mark sentence can be why don't then subject we then verb do and then other part our homework and finally question mark so sentence can be why don't we do our homework so similar example why doesn't she go for a vacation and finally structure number four we can start with how about then verb i in the form and then other parts and finally question mark so sentence can be how about verb i in the form going then other part for a swing tomorrow and finally question mark so sentence can be how about going for a swing tomorrow so similar example can be how about reading a book so now we can go to the practice three Raima and her friends want to buy a gift for the teacher Mr. Alum on his birthday the dialogue is given below with missing words complete the dialogue with correct form of verb in brackets Raima is saying Mr. Alum's birthday is coming soon what should we gift him bracket gift we need to change it so what can be the answer exactly the answer will be gift pronoun is saying he likes reading books why don't we in bracket give him a book so we need to change the verb give so answer will be give exactly why don't we give him a book Raima is saying that's a good idea but we don't know which books he already has read how about present him a watch so present we need to change it yes presenting how about presenting him a watch Jyothi is saying but he already has worn let's gift him a nice pen gift the answer will be gift you can't have too many pens right Rima is saying agreed what a great idea practice four what we need to do we need to put the words in right order to make sentences number one starting about with the class a game how so what can be the right sentence yes the right sentence will be how about starting the class with a game number two a picnic go for let's tomorrow so the right sentence will be let's go for a picnic tomorrow number three to help why don't sneha ask you with your English homework so correct sentence is why don't you ask Sneha to help you with your English homework so see the next number four together make let's noodles right sentences let's make noodles together number five visiting about the Shohid Mina how the right sentence is how about visiting the Shohid Mina and number six doesn't take a rickshaw why he right sentence is why doesn't he take a rickshaw so let's go to the next practice practice five what we need to do for each question choose the correct sentence number one I have a holiday tomorrow so what will be the correct question option a why don't you go for fishing option B why don't going for fishing 
Yes. Right answer will be, why don't you go for fishing? See the next question. I don't know where to start preparing for exams. Option A. How about ask your elder sister? Option B. How about asking your elder sister? So, correct answer is option B. How about asking your elder sister? See the next question. I haven't bought the train tickets. Option A. Let's go to the train station then. Option B. Let's have gone to the train station then. So, I think you got it. The right answer is, let's go to the train station then. See the next question. I think I have fever. Option A. How about going to a doctor? Option B. How about go to a doctor? So, right answer is A. How about going to a doctor? Now let's practice writing paragraphs. Here is our question. You need to think of a place you would like to go to. Now write a few sentences about where you want to go, why you want to go there, and who you want to go with. We will have to write a short paragraph answering these questions. I've already written a paragraph answering these questions. Let's read my paragraph and then you will be able to write your own. This is my paragraph. I would like to go to Cox's Buzzer. We have the longest sea beach in the world at Cox's Buzzer. I would like to walk on that sea beach, swim in the sea and enjoy watching the sunset there. I have seen a lot of photos of Cox's Buzzer. I really liked the place. I want to go there with my family because I think my parents will also enjoy watching the sea and the sea beach. So this is my paragraph. Now you can write a similar paragraph on the place you want to go to. Try practicing that at home. Now let's see what we have learned today. Today we have learned about number one reading and understanding texts number two reading and understanding written instructions number three writing questions and answers and number four writing short paragraphs now this is your homework Nafis and his friends want to do a class project they are discussing about what they want to do now Write a dialogue between Nafis and his friends. Use the following clues. Poster drawing, wall magazine, drama. So remember, after completing this homework in a separate notebook, you must submit to your English teacher when your school opens. Marks of your homework will be added to your continuous assessment. So, thank you very much. Follow the instructions of government and stay safe. So follow Facebook and YouTube to see the class again. Thank you again from Amar Khare Amar School. Goodbye.